right, everybody, welcome back here to Survivor Sacks. I got something really special for you today. We're going to go over the Side C Super Duper Shuffle. A few years ago, I did a video talking about the Side C Shuffle. So, your Side C on your saxophone is this middle key right here. And all we're going to do is press it, release, press it, release, press it, release. And we're going to get a really nice altissimo lick. It should sound like this. Okay, let me show you the one fingering that I actually use to super duper shuffle this thing up. I use a split F, just like middle F. One, two, three, four with the two finger up, and then I just add the low C. Once I do that, all I do is just add and release the side C. Side C shuffle! shuffle our side C key back and forth and we're gonna overblow to get these overtones that creates this really cool arpeggio which is basically like uh, in tenor it's a D7 sharp 9 sharp 11 or flat 5 sounds like this split in the terminology that I've created means whatever fingering with the two finger up vented in the terminology that I've created is whatever the fingering is with the first finger up so today we're focusing on split F so middle F make sure you have the octave key one two three four lift the two key add the low C key let's play the fundamental, the lowest note you can get with that fingering. It's like an out of tune B flat or an out of tune A. When we add the side C to that, it should give us like a weird sounding C. Sounds like one of those French ambulances. Okay, so let's play the next overtone, which should be that thing, an octave higher. Now let's move on to the next overtone. This should be an F sharp to an out of tune G sharp. I admit the G sharp is a little flat. Let's take it from the bottom. Let's play the next overtone, altissimo C to altissimo D. And then let's play the next overtone, which is an altissimo F. So for the lowest one, we will not use the octave key. And then for the other overtones, we will use the octave key. We want to play this. Two octaves higher. One, three, four. Low C. Start with your high F sharp. Okay, 
<laughs> Just have some fun with that thing, man. You can amaze your friends with these simple altissimo techniques. Personally, I think this is a lot more productive than just sitting there with your low B flat. So control is everything when you're playing this and this will definitely help you to refine your altissimo playing. I have a video before where I'm showing you this whole lick If you like this kind of content and you want to support the channel, you can buy me a delicious piece of cake. It's like Patreon or Kickstarter, one of these kind of things, one of these donation type of things. And uh, I appreciate those of you who have done that. Thank you a lot. Okay, everybody. So I have some merchandise that's available. Also have some other physical products, mugs, t-shirts, hats that are available through Spring, which was formerly Teespring. I have moved the digital stuff from Spring over to pay hip so the digital stuff is going to be my uh, altissimo book for tenor alto and also my um, all things diminished book but on pay hip because they're really really good at doing digital content i am offering some free stuff so you can just go there pick up some stuff at zero charge browse around i'm in the process of just building up that site more and more to make stuff available for you so many other people are offering free PDF, so I want to do that also. So right now I'm going through the process of just making free PDFs. Be sure to check out what kind of free PDF stuff that I have available. Oh, and by the way, yes, this does work on Alto. Piece of cake. All right, that's all I got for you. See ya.